earlier podcast addressed a management problem relevant to business and politics, the principal agent problem, the manager's responsibility challenge of ensuring that the departments within his organization are incentivized, are structured, so that their decisions advance the overall profitability of the firm. There are different parts of the department you want them to pull together. So that's called the principal agent problem. In the last, in an earlier podcast, we dealt with that problem, not within the private sphere, where businesses long solved this problem. Management courses deal with this throughout the MBA program, but with a political department in the firm, the Government Affairs Department, and dealt with how, without proper management, the Government Affairs Department can too often represent government to the company rather than the company to government. Today we'd like to talk about a, another department that is mismanaged, where this principal agent problem emerged, where the original purpose of those departments was essentially a private function. The advertising marketing part of the current firm. Companies have to reach consumers. They have to persuade consumers that their product represents a quality product at an affordable price. They do that by advertising, by, by re reaching out to the consumer with imagery, with words, with television and so on. Buy our soap. We're, we, make, we make good soap and the soap is affordable, good price, okay? Business has done that. The whole advertising industry is incredible. But in a world that is increasingly political, business has not fully realized and the advertising director has not realized that every message that goes out to Joe and Joan consumer, buy our soap, also reaches Joe and Joan citizen. We're operating in both a private and a political world. And what is the message that the business is sending to the Joe and Joan citizen part of our society? Often no attention at all is given to that. And yet, if one does not legitimize one's operation in the political world, then one can easily become increasingly vulnerable to political predation. And we've seen that with the steady growth of government, the massive increase in regulation, the attempts to raise business taxes out of sight. The profitability of the firm as a whole requires that consumers choose your product and citizens view your company as legitimate. And why shouldn't they? Nothing is done more to improve the quality of life, to create wealth and knowledge in a world that is too poor and too ignorant than the modern corporation, than business. Business has a story to tell. It should tell that story. Once it did, one of the books that discusses the history of advertising in America is Creating the Corporate Soul, a tremendous book pointing out at one time the pride of business towards their work and how excited they were, not only to sell their soap, but to show their pride in producing a quality soap. Today, too often that pride has disappeared. As the political side has grown, business has forgotten that it has to legitimize itself in a democracy. In a market democracy, it's not enough to sell product. You have to be seen as selling a legitimate product. And business has not learned that lesson well. They have not managed the principal agent problem in this area. Business operates in two worlds. In a world that is half political, half private, Business has to recognize that everything it does has to relate to those two world problems. It has to sell its product in the ad world, knows how to do that, marketing people pay attention to that. But every one of those ads also reaches the citizen. Joe Wynn Jones citizens' opinions about your firm can be critical when the politicians decide who to ravage next, who to terrorize with higher taxes, higher regulations. You do not want your firm to be one of those battered businesses. And one of the ways you can help prevent that is to ensure that you manage your ad department, your government affairs, and all your departments to recognize that you deserve legitimacy. What you do is wonderful. You're proud of it. Let that pride speak out to the American public. And this is a better way of managing your company.